Welcome back to some more Forza and Sport Forza. Today we've got to more. Let's play. This is episode 96. In today's episode, we are taking a look at the Cadillac CTSV Club. For that, we need a Cadillac CTSV. Who'd have fucking guessed? It's time to buy the 2009 Cadillac CTSV because uh, magnetic it's, suspension. It, it, it's a car, and we need a car. This is the car. Cars. I like cars. Do you like cars? I like cars. Mm. Let's buy a car. Let's. We've already bought the car. Uh, CTSV Club Cadillac showcases true performance in this event for all configurations of the CTSV. Wow! How Good much Cadillac Lord. affinity do I have? I'm assuming none. Well, you hate Cadillac, so yeah, yes. I am assuming none. So yes, we've got absolutely none. So guess what? I don't care if this event wants me to upgrade my car. I sure as shit ain't. Alfa Romeo Brera looks great. Oh god, yes it does. The Brera is very nice. I prefer the Barrera spider, spider though, because uh, for some reason that just does special things to my penis. Otherwise known as the <laughs> spider. <laughs> yes. In cars. No, it's not Gary Newman, it's Fear Factory. Have you not seen the challenge trail? Voxel is gone, Rise of Opal. Voxel isn't dead yet, but it fucking should be. I've never like, understood why we yeah. kept it anyway. Voxel was kept for like us and Poland for some fucking reason. Um, Inferno, what am I looking at? Probably Did you like one. Ghost in the Shell? Get ready for Hell in a Cell. Excuse me. Eh. Eh. There's a different Inferno room. There's two Infernos now. Do not put Ghost in the Shell in the same vein as, as Hell in a Cell. What's Ghost in the Shell? Anime. But I like the uh, Do you like anime? Uh, there's only a couple Fucking I like, weak. but I like I like the uh, I like the live action film. That was great. Do you know what I really like? I like my Cadillac with its absolutely piss poor interior. Like even in game, I can feel the cheap plastic. GM, I'm sorry, bro. I'm, I'm not a CTSV person. I'm not a Cadillac person. GM, bro. They just I mean, look too cheap, disgusting, nasty. It's like all the new ones just all look exactly the same. <laughs> all when, has a when has a Cadillac ever looked different from each other? Like, don't get me wrong, I, I dig like 70s like Huggy Bear Cadillacs, but beyond that I'm not interested. <laughs> like, them motherfuckers that have like pillows in the seats and shit, I can get on board with that. That one Doug drove, the Eldorado, I, I can get on board on that. But, you know. Bad so memes, hard ever since they were bought by GM, ever since they were bought by GM, every single one of them has looked exactly the same. Were they bought by GM in like the twenties? No, it was when yeah, they've GM... been GM. They've been GM <laughs> since fucking. Okay, when GM decided that everything should look the same, every single one of them, the Fox body, they, they had Fox, Fox body. <laughs> what, was, what was the body? The, what was the body that every GM, every B -body? GM used? B body. B body. Yeah. Fox body. Someone make a fox body Mustang, but turn into a kind of like replica. Please. No man. Hmm. Yeah, you guys talking about the same thing as your I'll have here. a fox. I'll have a. I'll, I'll have a fox body bromed elegance. Yes. <laughs> fox body CTS. There you go, Scotian. What? Instead of driving that rental charger, just trade it in on like a fox body and just like pretend it's a challenger. I want my challenger back now. The fucking AC is garbage. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> nice. Does it does it cool things down? No. <laughs> no. Is it even AC, is it it, even AC anymore? It coughs on you no. like an asthmatic person eating a burger. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, ooh, there's some cold air going on me, and that's it. <laughs> My air conditioning is pretty good. Fucking oh, Challenger, cool. Challenger's air conditioning is like a, a fucking deep freeze compared to that. <laughs> I just wish my car had ventilated seats. Because, I mean, that's cool. I, if I bought the Lexus, I would have got ventilated seats, but I also didn't want you my engine to explode. Car? Yeah. You bought another car. I did. I bought a Honda. No, I no, I haven't bought a, no. Unless my car dies, which knowing my luck is kind of likely. Uh, have you seen a Honda? They'll go on for thousands and thousands of years. Yeah. Well, I mean, if it dies, then 
I mean, again, my luck is it will probably die at some point, so... I'll just have to buy a Fiat Tipo on finance. <laughs> hey, don't laugh at they, that. They have radar-guided cruise control, that shit does. Wow. I know, I was impressed. Wow. I, like, I need radar guided cruise control. If I'm gonna buy a car on finance, it better be something... Toyota good. Camry Hybrid. That's the car I want on finance, but it's like fake grand and I can't car. justify that. I wonder if that Volvo S90 is still for sale, that one that was like 20 grand. And like brand why, new. It, why do Volvo still make the S90? Because it's the greatest car in the world. It looks miserable <laughs> and they barely ever sell. It looks great! They sell quite a few of them. I'm not sure if you've ever seen an S90. Yes, I have. I think they look fantastic. It's a Volvo. The only issue with them is they oh. don't... Actually, no, they do have a CD player. That's my issue with modern cars. They need more CD players. Sometimes Look. certain people stop paying for the Spotify account you was using. I like my Bluetooth. I use... Oh, I, I, Scotian, I would like my Bluetooth if it worked. Unfortunately, saying phone setup doesn't make the car respond. In a correct tone. Challenger doesn't even... Uh, my my challenger has Bluetooth, but it's only from my fucking phone. Again, your Bluetooth system was easy to set up. Oh, speaking of Aleros, I've just seen one. <laughs> nice! All Volvos now have a 112 mile per hour limit. Great, that means they're legal for sale in Japan. I buy a Toyota Alteza RS200 purely because limit. Inferno. Oh, um. I hate to say this to you, but the Altezza RS200 doesn't actually have a 2J in it. <laughs> it has a 2-litre turbocharged 4-cylinder. The European cars had a 2-litre V6, and the IS300's the one with the 2JZ. Mm. For whatever reason, Toyota decided for all of the different markets they were going to put a different engine <laughs> in that car. We need the Nissan Cube to come back. Fuck yeah. I'd totally rock a Nissan Cube. I was looking at getting a Nissan Cube, actually. Beans. Oh, God, no. No, uh, seriously, I was. When I was, like, looking to replace the Panda, the Nissan Cube was crossing my mind. Problem is, they're just too expensive. Take two, because this Cadillac handles like a fucking chest of drawer falling down a staircase, which is made of concrete, being ridden by Daniel Pampo. Uh, deep speed shift. <laughs> Anyways. Oh god, alive above the cars. Yes. Well, we're in third place. That's important. Uh, my mum has a Nissan Titan and the engine is knocking, so we need to get them to put a new one in 13,000 kilometres in. Jesus. Well, wow. The Nissan Titan. I know one is thing it? about the Nissan Titan and it's the cummies. <laughs> yeah, that's the question. Is it a diesel? Diesel. <laughs> they, they offer know. an engine that isn't the diesel in the Titan? Yeah. What is it? A V8. What sort of V8? VK series, I think. The same one that... Usually it's the same one they put in the fucking uh, the GTR, GT1 car back in the day. I was about to say, doesn't the GTR have a V6? Yeah, it had mm. a V6, but they shoved a VK yeah, V8 yeah, yeah. into it in the GT1. They wish use that engine for something else. I wonder if they use it for that fucking Arabian they use it for, thing. They use it for the SUVs and they use yeah. it for like one, some of the vans as well. Like some of the heavy duty vans. Van. Normal engine naturally aspirated, so I'm assuming that's a petrol. Mm. Petroleum! I'm just gonna say something right now. Kia's new Sorento. It looks like a Did they forget to put oil in it? It looks like a Sangyong. Oh god, have you seen the new Sangyongs? Yes. They've got they Vinnie Jones to advertise them. Why would... Vinnie Jones? Yeah. Why? Because he you needs have... fucking money. <laughs> Vinnie Jones Imagine is... being so desperate that like, you show up in Sangyong commercials. 
I'm just looking at some. Unless like he was like tricked, they were like sat there like, yo, we're going to advertise the new Mercedes Benz X class, and he was like, cool, I'll sign the contract and be right over. And then they were like, psych, it's a Sang Yong, it's got the same engine though, and they, he was like, fuck you, and they were like, well, you sign the contract now. Why would you have? Why would Vinnie Jones ever do that? Do you want to know what get, the, how the advert goes? Yes, he. This is the new Sang Yong Corando. It's got mood lighting and leather for twenty grand. You can't beat that for value, can you? That's the fucking advert. <laughs> wow. So does my bike. It costs seven Your grand. Your bike does not have <laughs> mood lighting. No, if you... Uh, if you <laughs> That'd be ace, though. Can you put, like, neons on your bike and just drive around like a fucking complete prick? <laughs> That'd be well, great. if I don't get caught by the police, maybe. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to buy you a present. Please don't. I'm going to buy you that bike that was in the Vietnam Top Gear special. The one that screamed one? born in the USA. What, the Minsk? Yeah, the one that screamed born in the USA. Despite the thing being made in Russia. Yes, and also the fact that that born in the USA is actually an anti-American song, I believe. No, it was a very patriotic song. No, no, it's actually an anti-American song, if like you understand the lyrics, apparently. It's not even the best version of that song, anyway. Well, to be fair, any American song today is anti-American. I need to listen to an equally American song now, though. NFS Shift 2 looks much than this game. I agree. No. <laughs> I wish it looked much than this game, too. Um, keep on rocking in the free world. Scotian, mm. this is very bad. I'm being attacked by Cadillac CTSV coupes. Sorry, can't help you. I can't be overtaken by them, otherwise I'll have to look at the back end of a CTSV coupe. Which, as we all know, why why did they make the CTSV coupe, and why did it show up in every racing game from this time as well? Um, wasn't the CTS coupe already a thing? It was just called the XLR. No, the XLR was a Corvette. Corvette. With a better engine. It had a better engine, but it still handled like absolute crap. I like the XLR. That's kind of a cool looking vehicle. It looks fine. I wish Ford made made the GTX one. Yeah, I, I know the manual and clutch thing. Um, the problem is that noise would really fucking irritate me, so I, I, I don't do that. I know Rhino did it, and I know it makes the car quicker technically, but I, I just, I'm not. You have the worst part of Canada as your surname. Toronto? I, I know nothing about Toronto. I know nothing about Canada, really. I mean, I only The only thing know... I know about Canada is that The only thing I know about Canada nowadays is Nova Scotia is free roads and full of hillbillies because that's what Scotian said. The only thing I know about Canada now is that they legalize weed. Oh, Canada. They should replace the they should replace the maple leaf with with a weed leaf. Fuck yeah. I mean, we had we we tried to get a cat as a mayor of a capital, so there was a cat as a mayor of a cat of a capital, wasn't there? No. In America. Oh. Uh, I follow Japan. We tried. Well, we tried. You tried to get a cat. Yep. The cat died. <laughs> surprise! Surprise! Sorry, I should laugh at that. Cat died of cancer. No. That's even worse. Please stop guilt tripping us. My cat died of cancer. That was the most right. honest politician that we had. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, I know. Oh, that... But here's the thing. You... Here's the thing. You did. The cat did not do what Boris Johnson did, which oh, is I... answer the question that was on the mind of everyone in the UK. Meow. What type of shampoo does he use? <laughs> he had a great answer. What? He said, I don't know, it's just blue. <laughs> it's blue? I just put, it's like seven pounds. I think he's, right, here's his exact words, and I loved it because he put the politician spin on it as well. He was like, so ask, what type of shampoo do you use? I don't really know. It, it, it's blue. 
It's like seven pounds at the supermarket. It's Boris Johnson. What can I say? And he just turned around and he's like, it, it's very good, although it does use too much plastic. And that's one thing we're really aiming for is to reduce our usage of plastic. And I was like, oh, Boris. Well, be I'd fair, never be Boris. shocked by a man, but if Boris asked me to bend over, I'd bend over. Anyways, uh, the SSC Ultimate Era has too much power. That's kind of the point. Canada is snowy Mexico. Snowy Mexico. <laughs> he actually, in fairness, he's not that off base. They speak as equally as common and yet irritating language. Um, yeah, the transmission falls a thing. It's just like, eh. I, the problem is, I would like to learn manual of clutch, but at the same time, this is like the only game in the world that uses manual of clutch, so I don't really see the point of learning it. What in God's name? There's an actual truck by Sangyong called the Rhino. Oh God. And the Saracen. Listen. They're pretty but, tough names on it, but it's rubbish. I know. That they shouldn't do that. They should take a. They, they should do what a Great Wall did and make a car called the Great Wall Wingle. Or the steed. <laughs> yes, the st do you know what I love about the steed? Is that the fact shit? that it said ABS on the back of it in 2012, like it was a big deal. <laughs> like, wow! Only in China. Uh, they sold them over here. I went to a World's Strongest Man contest where a guy got given it at the end and he looked legitimately angry. <laughs> he had to smile and wave as he drove it off. You know, like, the guy lives in, like, Norway. There's no way he's gonna, like, import that over. Because he, like, immediately left the thing and was like, just give me the 12 grand this vehicle costs me. I'm looking at the Rexton right now. <laughs> the new Rexton will make light work of hauling a large caravan, horse box, boat, or work trailer. Just saying, at 200,000... So every 4x4... <laughs> At 200,000 subscribers, I will buy a Sasangyong. Action. <laughs> interior styling. The interior has been designed to be easy on the eye. I think I said at 100,000 subscribers, I was going to buy a Corsa, so. You should, uh -huh. buy, you should buy a fucking Prodigy and Nipper. My, my plan is I'm going to buy a Corsa and like team up with the makers of like a tool. Place so they can give me like loads of free power tools so I can use those in my to help my review of the course. I'm just gonna <laughs> be like, <read> <laughs> I'll be like, this course is great, but you know what's even better? This electric drill. Look what happens when you take it to the door. You can I'm now. Gonna hang read I'm gonna read a little bit something. from the interior styling blurb of this car. The interior has been designed to be easy on the eyes and on the mind. The whole approach to the cabin is to simply make everything around the driver feel wonderfully instinctive and refreshingly enjoyable. I'm not going to finish. I'm not going to finish there because it shows you an image of the cabin. Only to say below that, vehicle show features quilted upholstery not available in the UK. Why advertise it then? Why would I want quilts? Hmm. It's quite. Exterior design. And exterior Actually, Scotia, designing. which project did you say I should buy? Nipper. I'm not gonna lie. I had Azza on the line not too long ago, and we found a Nipper. It's like a special edition with like racing flags on the side of it. And uh, he he confirmed to me he would buy it if like he had the money to. So he, I'm gonna let him buy the project and Nipper. In all honesty, we're in semi circuitous talks to just buy a Fiat Multiplier and share it between us when we need a vehicle, so... <laughs> it's all good fun. Uh, how's, how's this Yaris? Uh, it... the, the, the bonnet's the same colour as the rest of the car now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you show my, my challenger and it says yes. this, is how real men, this is how real men crash a car? I, I, he I asked if you was okay. So I said, yeah, okay. he's fine. He just hates life now. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we're going to get out of American cars and we're going to start driving Audis. Oh, God. Do you what Audi that? is this? I and don't be, know. And they'll be driving in uniform. Who knows what Audi it will be? Join us next time to find out. Until then, farewell.
Eyes on the slit of your front. 